Well, <clears throat> well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Silver in here. I uh, just want to wish you a wonderful evening. Let me see if Ollie's got to make sure. Good. That's fantastic. Awesome. It's a very quiet evening, very, very quiet. Actually, you, you can't hear a pin drop. Um, I'm not hearing any foxes screaming or making any noise. It's just quiet and so, so beautiful. Uh, very lovely. I uh, just want to wish you a wonderful evening. And uh, let me, if you can hear me very clearly. And uh, still beautiful, still, still lovely day. You, Michael? Sonia Bunny, Sonia Bunny, <laughs> Sonia Bunny, um, you know, <clears throat> and uh, the, the, the days are still, the days are still very beautiful um, in, in the summer period here, um, as we're experiencing this, this bout of lovely weather. I know sometimes people like to um, complain and say, oh, it's too hot or so, but uh, I don't think one should actually uh, complain about the weather. Because after a while, we're going to get it. I think we're going to get some serious winter, if, if anything. Um, so, yeah. So, so, so that's it there. Now, I just want to <clears throat> come on today. Um, because I've been going through some, some bout of, um, uh, I, th I think it's, what should I say? Resistance to the, the typical news which is going around and... Uh, typical sayings which have been going around and typical thinking which have been going around and you want to sort of cut through the maze of of some of these you know um and even before i get into my topic which is um you know but it, it is very clear it says we can look and identify all the reasons why we are not together and miss out on where and how we're actually together now that comes in all different forms and all different sort of um standards and different ways but um but i come from a, a, a different angle so while i try to um uh what should i say uh uh share these these pages i would actually ask you if possible to to as well to share it share the page and and as well to contribute you know so that that would be that would be great and that would be helpful. Let me see. Hmm. Don't understand what that is. By the way, I, did you see the news today? Um, in the UK. Um, uh, this this was very interesting. It says the headline on BBC was says no one charged in nine out of ten crimes. The Home Office says. And let me put on let me put on my glasses here to say this. Only nine percent. Of crimes and with suspects being charged and summons in England and Wales, Home Office figures suggested in the 12 months to March, 443,000 crimes resulted in a charge of summons out of 4.6 million offences, the lowest detection rate since 2015. That is crazy. Uh, you know? And, and data also show that police closed nearly half, 48% identified, right? That is also um, ridiculous. Home Office statistics on crime outcomes are published <clears throat> at the same time as quarterly crime figures. Hey, Amari, how are you doing, buddy? Um, hope you're good there in the States, taking control. I, 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 I do a sidetrack here now and, and talk about the States that uh, I believe it is very important. Uh, my message to um, you guys in the United States of America to take control, um, um, be the leader that you want to see by being the leader that you want to see. Uh, a lady by the name of Jahena Haynes, which I've been chomping her card recently. And when I say chomping her card, it's just a word chomping, um, beginning of her praise, she's a Democrat. And uh, she is also, 
uh, a, a teacher which got the award for the teacher of the year, I think a couple of years ago or last year, uh, oh, sorry, but, uh, when Obama was, was president. And she's super excited. And now she's running for Congress. And, uh, and everyone knows my views when it comes down to political office and, and, and getting involved in the political process to make a big difference. I think that is something which is crucial. I think that is something which is, uh, uh, what should I say, uh, something of integrity. I believe that is something that actually uh, people need to do because when we do that, we won't have the time demonstrating against who is there because guess what? We are already there. And, and hence the reason why I, I, I brought up this topic today, this key topic um, about we look at all the reasons why we're not together by missing out as well how much we are together. And, and I always say to persons at times that don't worry too much about those who are against you or those are where there's a saying that the community is divided because that is like a, a narrative, narrative which is being pushed. Such narratives being pushed is there in a way to sort of keep a certain particular status quo. And such status quo doesn't really exist unless one allows it to exist in one's mind and one's mind's eyes. Because at the end of the day, one will check it out. And when you check it out, you can realize that, hang on a second, while I'm looking I'm at... I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Siri's trying to talk to me. <laughs> Siri don't understand. You know, exactly. That's key point. Even Siri don't understand what I'm trying to say. Because sometimes we're so focused on trying to get Martin Luther King and Malcolm X to walk together. And by doing so, missed out on the complete bigger picture. By instead just allow them to walk and find the person that agree. And you'd be surprised how they're actually walking in sync in a certain way. Um, so that is, that, that is just something that I, I wanted to, to throw the Amari for, for, for my brothers and sisters in the States. Because even though, as I say many times, that I, I, I'm a person that would more lean towards the chump side right now in regards to who's out there, but fundamentally, I'm of the view that if you want to see not a Trump, then you've got to make sure that you are there and that you are there to make that difference, that you are there to make that fundamental shift that is fundamental and that is very important in any political scenario, in any political situation. And mark my words, I know what I'm saying is correct and what I'm saying is actually true. So, any else? So, so what I'm talking about like now in, 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 in the UK, you just have this crime report. Many people um, have crime reports and everything like that. Many things happen and uh, it's like nobody really cares. You know, nothing, nothing happens. But, you know, it goes back to the point now that sometimes one is actually waiting for people to make things happen and by waiting to waiting for people to make things happen nothing really happens and then you, you turn out back to the situation whereby you've got to be the one that make it happen and you know i'm trying to find a conversation that i had with someone even just uh briefly and 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 the conversation uh, went to a, an angle why saying uh, black people are very accepting but yet we are not being accepted uh, black people are deemed to be very accepting but yet we are not accepted and I thought about it for a second and I said aha that's the problem. Why do we need to be accepted? And to be accepted by whom? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hi V, how are you? So the question was, why are we at the, the bottom of the pile? Why are things not happening to us, if anything? Why are we not accepting? Why are the supremists on our case? Why are we lynch factor on our case? And as I said, we will 
find all the different um, reasons and we'll build upon the reasons. We'll build upon the reasons and we build upon the reasons and we build upon the reasons and we'll make a monument of that particular reason. Yeah? But then, but my first port of call is always this. And Amari, you know this. Anybody who knows me, is always talk about this fundamental word. And this fundamental word is identity. And it is something that I can be, that I can speak about uh, uh, forever and ever and ever. Because I believe that a lack of identity of an individual, of a person, of a race, will make them somewhat of disrepute and be ready to be taken over because there's a lack of identity. If a race or a people or an individual seek, a, seek, a, seek, <coughs> seek acceptance from others, then somewhat at the same time you are caught up and to be in disrepute because you're now a slave to those who are the one that you want to accept you. And that is why one of the reasons that I'm not a fan of seeking equality. Not a fan of seeking to be heard. Not a fan of seeking to demonstrate and to protest. Because if one is doing that and seeking acceptance from others, that means to say you have not accepted yourself and who you exactly are. Now what I'm saying is not something which is a, 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 a typical thinking. Because the, the typical thinking and the typical leading of the uh, black race and of the typical black leader is one who is ready to chant down Babylon one more time. Chanting down Babylon one more time. Mash up Babylon. Let's take back what is rightfully ours. Let's have reparation. Let's have repatriation. That's all of those. And then one is, and then it goes on for years upon years upon years. And our children come on and, and fall within that particular line upon years upon years upon years. Now, many of you, uh, or of my age, of my era, of my period or so, and especially those who are born in the UK, those who are born, hear that thing, hear that whole message at times. Fight, fight, fight. But one of the things that seem not to be comprehended and accepted is the fact that you do not need, we do not need acceptance from anyone to feel special, to feel equal. The most important thing is that one accept themselves. Know who you are. Having that sense of identity. And then, you know, listen, listen to listen, listen to what listen to what my, my, my topic is and the, the post. When I put out a post sometimes, uh, it, it is not just a post because it, it, it fits in well. Uh, the post is simply saying we can look and identify, which is good, which is easy, and it's something easy to do. All the reasons we're not together, all the reasons why we're being suppressed, all the reasons why the system fights us and miss out on how and where and at the period at the time when we're actually together. I diverse slightly by when we, we talk about, um, like I do, uh, knife crime, gun crime, and all the negative things which, which are happening. And, uh, but somehow, at time, we miss out on identifying all the good, all the positives, all the achievements, all the success. And sometimes they just pass under our nose. Just a little smell that we may get. And then guess what? They appear on the mainstream. And when they appear on the mainstream, you say, wow, I never know this person exists. Well, they existed for years. They couldn't have been where they're at now without going through a process. And I give you the classic example of this gentleman who, act, who 
with, with in in a, a needle in, in in the eye of a needle, which is very small, the eye of a needle, this gentleman create artifacts and create um, drawings or little um, artwork inside this. And I was amazed by this gentleman, totally amazed by this gentleman. And other people say that he's been around. But many people don't know that he's around because guess what? Our eyes are not on the success factors. Our eyes are not on where the strength is. Our eyes are mostly on where the weakness is. Our eyes are on where the division is. Our eyes are on where the, the, the weak link is, but not upon the strength. Now, I was speaking to a colleague this morning, um, today, and he is a friend of mine from school days. And I can see another person here from my school days, Gregory Forsyth, from Jamaica, Ocherius. And, and I find myself these last days engaging and re-engaging a lot with uh, my classmates from Jamaica, back home. And uh, it's, for me, it's important because when you are an immigrant, which I am, <laughs> a, 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 a first generation immigrant, because I'm not from the, the Windrush Factor and um, I'm a first generation that's come here. Uh, my wife is also from Jamaica. We, we come here, our children are you know, born here. Um, so therefore, my major and my main friends or my main buddies or my main people that I grew up with are not from the UK. They're from Jamaica. They're from Ocherius, you know. And you have seen that I posted a picture yesterday of, of the Ocherius Fisherman Village, a new village which had been set up in Ocherius there, spearheaded by one of my good friends that I went to school with. I was on the show the other day with another mate, Gregory Forsyth, talking about um, engaging with um, close protection security personnel when people from the diaspora go back to Jamaica. And I uh, was speaking to another um, gentleman today from my school days and, and, and linking with WhatsApp group. But why I say that? I say that because with that core group and with that core network, there is a togetherness. There is a togetherness. There's a level of family. Or in Jamaica, we say family. Family. <laughs> there's, a, there's a togetherness. And with that togetherness, that brings forth a unity. And with that unity, that brings forth a strength. Another classmate of mine is coming up to the UK next week. You know, when I go to Jamaica, I go to him. No big deal. Piece of cake. He's coming up next week from Jamaica. Point I'm trying to say is that there's more of us which is together and united than those who are not united and is divided. So therefore, and this is a quick video that I'm doing. My, my Wi-Fi just lost a while ago. Okay, I got it back. Hi, Danny Newton. Hi, Gregory. Hi, Paul, Paul Prendergast. You know, please share this video. It's important that you share this video. It's very important. It's important for young people to understand this and to hear this. And I'm saying this very, very, very clear. You need to read my lips and listen to what I'm saying. There's too much anger. There's too much strife around the failings. And there's not too much recognition of the success. You see, when it comes on to things like uh, agreeing to disagree, which is something, is an art, which not many persons understand, the art of agreeing to disagree. The art of learning to agree to disagree is the fact that when you come together in a discussion and, and having some sort of interfacing in discussion and you reach a point whereby you realize that you have different views, different ideology, and then you come to that position where you say, right, let's agree to disagree. And then you start to look at where you agree on. And you'd be surprised what you agree on is more than what you don't agree with more than what you disagree on. So therefore, the key and the art is this, finding that common ground, finding that key black element. And once you find that common ground, that common ground then exists now. It exists now for a platform, like a base, where one actually propel from and step into the new level. What new level am I talking about? 
This is a higher level. This is a higher level of thinking, a higher level of thought process, a higher level of consciousness. A higher level whereby you see negative strife as opportunities, as challenges. Not seeing it as a, a, a factor. Not seeing like when a, a teacher from a, a, a school and a deputy head to a school in the UK of Jamaican heritage will say to me that once your colour is like this, that's it. You're not going anywhere in this country. Now, can you imagine of lots of young people are thinking like that. You can imagine teachers or adults impregnating the minds of young people with those thinking. That is not a recipe for success. That's a clear recipe for failure. So therefore, the voices which are of a, a, a doom level, which are of a, a negative level, of always seeing the... Pro and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Let me make it clear now. It is very important that one identify the problems, identify the failings and deal with it. But it's got to be like a parallel planning process. I'm a child care lawyer. If I go into proceedings and a child is removed from a family, then you actually have to think about these factors. After that, you've got to think about three things, if anything. Possible rehabilitation with the parents. Uh, long term foster care. Maybe four, extended family members. Or, if the child is very young, adoption. They call it parallel planning. So you can't go, go down one particular track without looking at all the different options. So the family, or the parents, will go through a process of testing. Maybe some drug testing if they're involved with that. Maybe some psychological testing, assessment. Maybe some psychiatric assessment. Maybe, uh, and after that, feeds into a parenting assessment to check everything to make sure that they can match up to a certain level right and then at the end of that period as in the court process they'll say at 26 weeks four proceedings to complete then you go to court and then you present the case and say well this is it now this mother cannot hack it anymore because guess what she has failed the assessment uh, and so therefore we've we've got some special guardians with some family members who have been successful, so we've got that option there. We can put them, or there's no family member, it has to go to long-term fostering because these children are too old. They are 8, 9, 10, not adoptable age. Or if they're 1 or 0, or well, 1 or months, then they can go for possibility for adoption. So you've got this parallel process happening. So therefore, when I synchronize that, and I, and, and I juxtapose that now with the situations in our lives, right, and in the black community and when i say black community i use that word very flippant i use it in a political correct term because when somebody sometimes come out and say the community the community i'm the first one who will always say what community and then they ask me don't you believe there's a black community and i question and say what community are you talking about clarify me because you cannot just say a black community because you can't put all black people in a box and say that's how their thinking is you can't put all people in a box and say that's how they think is you can't put all caucasian in a box and say that's how they think is or that's how they think it is that's a recipe for disaster because guess what my fingerprint is different from yours my dna is different from yours i'm warped and created magnificently by god and all of us for a particular purpose and a time like this this moment, this particular moment, one need to ask yourself this question. Are you in the place that you should be? Right? And that is, and that is, um, um, that is the, the, the key and absolute factor, ladies and gentlemen. So, so therefore, while one is actually looking at all the, the negatives, the racism, the, 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 the um, what, what should I say, the white supremacists, um, the Willie Lynch factor, the slavery, and we can go all the way back. Marry that at the same time with the positives. Those who are breaking through. Those who are actually doing things. Those who are creating. Those who are actually making a monument. My good friend from Ochoirus with the Ochoirus um, uh, fishing village, Orville Grant, he says, Seymour, 
Seymour is my my Jamaican name for those who know me. Seymour is anybody that calls me Seymour, they know my mother, my father, or somebody very close. They, 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 he will say, I'm not just wanting to create wealth. He said, I want to create a monument. I want to create a, a legacy for others. So they can come and see. You know? Now I see that as success. But the success didn't emanate from the creation of the building or the creation of the place. The success emanated from the thinking, the mindset. That is why you, you will, you, my thinking is I do not have the time to have these quarrels and these arguments on Facebook and social media and all those sort of things and try to catch people out because we have got to be at a higher level of consciousness. Why? That's why I can see the positive aspects of Trump and I can see the negative aspects of Trump and I can take the criticisms for the choices that I make and you should be able to take the criticism for the choices that you make because it is your choice. It is your journey. It is your pathway. It is your movement. And your life should be a movement. A movement that empower. You know? And those are key, these are these are key words. And, and that's and that's why, you know, and that's why I I, I, I do stay away from toxic people. <laughs> I stay I stay away from toxic unnecessary subject. You know? But, but try to stay within a position where it's important that you and me and all of we, you know, be in a position where we create fundamental change, fundamental thinking, fundamental process, creating that parallel planning whereby as, as one is dealing with the problems, one is actually looking at the successful solutions which have been in place and which exist out there. I go back to my topic. We can look and identify all the reasons we're not together and miss out on where and how we are actually together. Right? Hi. You know? Because I can count, not on one man's, many persons that is in total agreement and in sync with what I'm saying. That is crucial. That is the most important thing. That is where one actually take hold of that united factor, that united front. You know, when you go into war, the battle, D-Day, and everything like that, how they can overcome the Germans, how they can overcome the Japanese, how they can overcome is when by there's a united force, a united front. Russia always deemed as an enemy of Americans, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? They fought together to defeat Hitler. You know, Britain, U.S., Colonel Ma General MacArthur, Churchill, they, they, they came together. And yes, my sister, they were of one accord. You find who is in on one accord with you. This is scriptural as well. This is powerful. In the Bible talks about this. They all became as, they all came as one. They all came as one. Many, the armies of Israel, using the Bible in a in figurative sense, for those who don't believe in the Bible or whatever, or use it as a storybook, if we're going to use it as a storybook of anything. They came as one voice. All right? And therefore, so therefore, what this is saying then, ladies and gentlemen, is that find the voices that are in sync and come together as one. Malcolm X did it. He found the voices that came together as one. Martin Luther King did it. He found the voices that came together as one. And that's how you make it. It makes no sense. Trust me, I'm telling you this. Let's forget this thing about black people who are not united. There won't be that united front. Trust me. It won't happen. Check, check out there in the UK now. Check out there. in All Caucasians are not united. Nah. Nah. No, they're not. It's a pipe dream. 
talk about the black race to be united. That's not going to happen. That's not being negative. That's being real. But what is key is that there are going to be forces, there are going to be voices that are united as one. And there's already such unity. Then when you get that unity now, that united force, then what you do, you start to build on it. Build on it. Build on it. Build, 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 build. And I'm not talking Bob the Builder. But maybe we need Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I learned that about, I learned that when I came to the UK, you know, I'm trying to say, you know, I um, don't know about this Bob the Builder thing, but you know, <laughs> you know, build, build on the foundation and the, the base what one has, build on that. Because you, you spend the whole life, you spend the whole season, please share this, ladies and gentlemen, please share this, this is, this is powerful stuff, I, I, you know, I, why it's powerful? Because I'm saying it, one has got to be confident in what you are. You know, I, I thought today about what I'm going to talk about. Should I talk about Trump? Should I talk about Brexit? There's so much things happening in Brexit, you know what I mean? The vote, um, the, the, something which has happened with the whip. They asked for the whip to resign. Um, one, of the, one of the members of parliament called um, Corbyn, uh, effing anti-Semite. You know, there's so much. You know, there's a new, the new Brexit secretary has gone to um, um, Brussels to talk to Mr. Garnier. Yeah. Trump is talking about wanting to bring Putin across to the States now to have another summit or whatever like that. Uh, the CNN and all the, in, the are in meltdown. What does that mean? What does that care about that, really? And I thought to myself, nah, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> It's getting a bit boring to a certain extent. It's good to know what's happening in the news. It's good to know what, what's, what's going on there. It's good to be abreast. I believe so. I, I was culturalized that way by my late father in Jamaica. Have to sit down and watch the news at 6 o'clock. Have to read the Sunday newspaper. And then he's, quest he's going to question you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Um, so, 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 in a nutshell, and, 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 and what I'm actually saying is simply this. Don't worry. Don't get too focused on where the division is. Start to focus a lot more on where the united front is. Right? Zero in, ladies and gentlemen, on Instagram, on where it is a united front, where you're on one accord. And from that one accord, then you build. You build upon that. You build upon that. Because we're going to waste another generation. And we're going to bring our children into that generation of trying to say that we're not united. But I'm going to make this declaration now. We are united. We are united. But that is a, a different level of unity. And therefore, we need to raise the consciousness. Raise the consciousness. Understanding the, the identity. Mm. You know? Understanding the identity. And from the identity... The values that come with because you can either listen. Many people have been problem with the identity now. Guess what? I was born a man, but I feel like a woman, so I'm gonna change and become a woman. I was born a woman, but I feel like a boy. I'm gonna be a woman. Oh I'm gonna be a boy. Some are saying. Even one person said, "I feel I'm white." Transracialism. So I wouldn't be surprised. Somebody's going to say that they feel like there's a car, they're a car. And then psychologists are going to come about and say, we've got to create this person into what? Transformers. The world's gone mad. Crazy. Nutters. But I'm always reminded of Lou Rawls when he said, and that song, that beautiful song he sang, What's the matter with the world as the world gone mad? Yeah? And I say this all the while. It's always fresh. 
And people say, the world has gone mad. The world has gone mad. The world has gone mad. Everything all crazy. Who crazy. And then he's, the second part of the song says, Nothing's wrong with the world. It's the people that's in it. In it. In it. In it. It's the people that's in it. Nothing's wrong with the world. Don't let your values be shifted and shafted based on persons. You know? Don't let your vision, your dreams, your, 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 the, what you learn in the past from your parents, your parents' parents. That is why history is so important. That's why history is, many people are trying to thwart history now. Thwart history in different ways. Thwart in history whereby, um, okay, let's look at this way. I'm going to look at it, this one. Okay, there are many statues out there, you know, many statues which are at different places, which is um, which they are actually pulling down, like the, those racist persons. Uh, they say, oh, they shouldn't be there because they're racist and everything like that. But guess what? They are part of history. I have no issue with those statues. It's not me. I don't issue. But I got, well, there's a, there a powerful one which was said today. I like this one, whereby they said, well, incorporate then and make it balance some of the other players during that time. So, for example, if you're only going to talk about those uh, ship owners and those rich and filthy uh, Caucasian during the slavery period, or blah, 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 and you show how they created the great city of London... Then you also have got to show as well Nanny of the Moon. You've got to show off Marcus Gab. You've got to show off all those other persons and the struggle as well. And you've got to show as well that it was built by on the backs of slaves, on the back of black people. So that is balancing the book and showing what is making the history known. So therefore, if you're making history known and documenting history based on um, traditions upon traditions, upon parents, upon parents, from generation to generation, things that you've learned, and now you're going to school, and now you, they're telling your children, that's not how it should be, you know, certain things that you grew up on, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to say it here, but you know what I'm saying, that that's not how it is. So therefore, you've now got to maybe go back to your parents and say, you guys taught me warped. You know, and somebody said the spirit of divination, you know, aborting the plans of God for people's life. And then guess what? This is it. And you've seen this before. Many studies have shown, and I can't pinpoint one now. Maybe somebody can. Many studies have shown whereby the, uh, uh, the studies have shown that X, Y, Z should be like this. And 10 years later, studies have shown that it should be like this, you know. And then 10 years later, studies have shown that it should be like that. And then, you know, and the more I think about it is that someone with a warp mind, with an agenda, with some ideological factor has come in and create that sort of research to fit within their mindset and as to where they want to go. In the media thing, they call it the media frame. So they create, I call it the scientific frame now. Because where you want to go, you're going to create the evidence and you're going to build it for that to happen. And then, guess what? People hear it on the news, BBC, CNN, Sky. And say, oh my days. Oh my days. What's that? Children in school are being learned and being taught certain things which defy the whole process of the normal function of the physical body or whatever like that. Normal function of different things. And then guess what? It's all change. Acceptance and tolerance crucial and important. But that doesn't mean to say that one actually change yourself to fit in. One don't have to fit in. Because if you fit in, then you will be kicked out. You fit into something, it changes, it molds you. One has got to stand and stand and stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Silver and I approve this message and I want to share it as well. And this simple topic, we can look and identify all the reasons we're not together 
and miss out on where we're actually together. I don't believe that there's an issue whereby we should talk about the black race or the black unite community should be together. That's a pipe dream. It will never ever be together. It won't be united as one. Trust me. There are different factors there. What you need to do is identify where, where and how where the united forces, where one is united, and operate from there. Operate from a position of strength. Because I've always heard it. And you have always heard it. And we'll always hear it. Trust me. Always hear that same thing. Why are we not united? Black people are not united. We are so divided. My Wi-Fi keep kicking up, but I'm but I'm 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 onto it. Do you think all white people are united? You may think they're all united. Think on that. Check it out. Do your own research. Do you think all Asians are united? Think about it. Check it out. What they are though, they are united in the areas that they want to be united in. So therefore they'll be a strong block. So why not be find your ground, your common ground and unite there and build on that? You think the, Asian, the, the, the Irish and the English and the Scots are united? Is it the United Kingdom? Think about that for a second. And they're always at war. Think about that. Let's not be fool. Let's not the media messes up our frame. Let's not get caught up into this warp world. Trust me, I know what I'm saying. Divine inspiration. Right? So therefore, let's not kid ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be united and go with the... F and uh, I was going to say, go with the flow. Uh, yeah, sometimes go with my flow at this moment. At this moment. And, 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 and be keen. Now, thank you for joining. And um, that's all I want to say. Um, um, Kiana, thank you for coming. Judith Mills, you can watch it. But I make it very brief today. Uh, just under four to five minutes. Because in order for it to be able to watch uh, i'll update it update it and i want to share it because it is not the sort of thinking that and they're not the thought of video not the sort of um voice which is the typical one out there we can't afford to be typical anymore we cannot afford to be clones anymore we cannot afford to be the same thing because if we keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over nothing is going to happen and that's what is happening and as I said it before, I believe fundamentally that black leaders of the past in the UK has failed and let down the black people of this country. Well, come from a position of weakness at times and talking and, 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 and uh, with a level of division and not identifying and picking up on the strengths which exist and build upon the strength. Now's the time to build upon the strength. Now is the time to build upon the successes. Now, now is the time to build upon the achievements. And from that, you'll see a massive ripple effect. Young people are not looking at me just because I'm talking. Young people are looking at me based on my actions. Kid you not. You can stand up, you can shout, you can chant and rave and say, we are for the people and blah, blah, blah. They're watching your lifestyle. Young people are watching your lifestyle. That's what they're looking at. That is why they'll go to a Jay-Z. they go to a PD. they go to a, a thing because they see these guys and they see they're doing things and blah, blah, blah. Ray, 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 ray. Might not be real, but that's what they're seeing. And they're seeing that these guys will talk to certain people and blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much on Instagram, Lan. Um, Sonia and um, guys over there, I, I, I thank you so much for joining. Um, thank you so much for um, coming on tonight. Patricia, Gregory, my brethren, Mazima. Uh, Nikisha Henry, Gary Grant, um, Judith, Kiana, thank you. Mari, thank you for the states. Um, Rudolph, uh, Mark on Smith, Tracy Jordan, thank you for coming. And um, you can watch me on the on the replay. On the replay. Pop it on the replay. Okay? And the reason I didn't use any music, because I don't want um, anything to happen with this video to to for it to be held back, if anything. Um, so it has no base. So it's going to be, I'm going to download it now, put it on YouTube and share it. Okay. And thank you very much. And have a good night. Remember to like and follow me on, on, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Sinburn TV, uh, YouTube, Sinburn TV. 
um, and everything on Simbran TV. Okay? Bye-bye. Have a good night. Cheers. Peace out. Shereen, see you later. Leap, reap, repeat. All the best. Thank you very much. Maranga, AJ, see you. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good night. Silver and I'm out. Bye-bye. Leslie, ah, you just came. Um, you can actually uh, watch the the review. Um, it is there. Um, and uh, be inspired. Bye-bye.